Whenever the market gets volatile, like it was today, I like to fall back on our favorite secular growth stories, something like long-term themes that don't become a, they don't need a booming global economy to make you money. Themes like the humanization of pets, the idea that Americans are spending fortunes to take care of our companion animals because we increasingly treat them like members of the family. And family members get decent health care, which is why the veterinary stocks have been roaring. Kramer Fave, IDEX up 18%. So Wedex up more than 15%. But tonight I want to circle back to a newer play on the humanization of pets. I'm talking about Pet IQ. The rapidly growing provider of veterinary products, uh, including everything from over-the-counter flea and tick preventative to prescription drugs to health and wellness products for cats and dogs. Plus, Pet IQ has its own veterinary clinics. Long term, they think that they can open a thousand of them across the country. Last week, the company reported some excellent results with 114 percent sales growth. And management issued solid guidance for the full year. Now, the quarter wasn't necessarily perfect. The, the, the company reiterated its bullish long-term plans, though. And with the stock below $30, down $14 from its all-time highs, thanks to a real mulling in the fourth quarter bear market. I think it might be getting not enough credit for what it's doing. Don't take it from me. Let's check in with Cord Christensen, the chairman and CEO of Pet IQ, learn more about how his company's doing where it's headed. Mr. Christensen, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to see you, Cord. Have a hey, seat. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for having me. First of all, you have just spectacular growth. And I think one of the things is, is that everybody who has a pet, you have a pet, I have a pet, know that it is that having a pet is expensive, but we're not going to spare any money on our pets. So talk about the soup to nuts offering that you have for my pet. Great, Jim. We appreciate you asking. Of course. We are focused on providing low-cost, convenient access to health care for pets. And we do that by partnering with major retailers across the country. And the biggest thing we are is we're incredibly transparent about our price model so that anybody can feel comfortable going to the veterinarian knowing they can pr afford to provide health care for their pets. And then obviously when you provide more convenient access and it's more cost-effective, we just continue to, to gain ground on retaining and getting consumers into the space and ultimately providing the most incremental growth to the category. Okay, so what is the strategy follow the pet? And what does it mean for people who are thinking about owning the stock? Yeah, so follow pets is really straightforward. Our, our customers that we do business with provide 86% of the calories that pets consume, yet provide almost none of the health care for those animals. And so Pet IQ was purpose built from the very beginning to become one of the largest providers of cost effective um, pet health care. Right. And so ultimately we're building clinics and we're providing access to animal health products and services in the locations where people already provide everything their pets needs. And so now when you go there, you get to provide your, your food and calories, but you also get to provide health care for your pet. Okay. So uh, as we uh, pets go from the basement uh, to the bedroom to the bed, why do we need Pet IQ? Well, I think we need Pet IQ because 50% of pets in this country don't get any health care. But yet with the 50% 50? 50 of pets aren't getting expensive. great. Whether it's convenience or cost, those are the two main reasons that are addressed. We provide a great opportunity to educate people. And really, when you look at it, the pet humanization trend is alive and well. Right. And so as we continue to provide access and education, we just think we can continue to close that gap and ultimately end up with healthier pets that live a lot longer, that provide you that joy that you're looking for and why you're really making that pet a member of your family. Uh, I like you have quality product food. And I want you to talk about that because I think that people no longer just want to give their pets regular dog food. Right. Well, we are partnered with all the major manufacturers in the country that provide prescription diet. And that is one of the offerings we have in our, in our offering. As a company, we don't make food. We, we provide access to the right. prescription diets, right. but everything that we do in our company is focused on providing the same items that were found at the veterinarian before there was Pet IQ, and okay. making those available through major retail. So everything we do is high quality. Okay, how about your pop-up clinic strategy? Well, our pop-up clinic strategy is we have 3,400 retailers in the country that we bring a veterinarian, a couple technicians, and we run a clinic for a day at a time. Last year, we ran over 74,000 clinics. I actually believe last time we were here, we talked about the fact that you treat your pets at one of our tractor supply locations. Absolutely. Great doctor. I told yeah. you, <laughs> it's Dr. Christensen. Not, no relation to me, but no we'll take it. No relation to you. It. I know you're from West. Uh, what do you guys do? Uh, look, we all love our pets, but we also know that there are unfortunate pets. We know that... Uh, there are pets where we got our, our mutts from a, a kill center. What are you guys doing beyond that? Because I know you're a pet lover. Yeah, we do a lot of things to try and give back as a company. We think that's really important. Uh, we partner with a lot of those very, very um, specific clinics to provide access to the product so they stay healthier until mm -hmm. they, they can be adopted. Uh, one of the areas that are near and dear to my heart is to partner with service dog organizations. And we really focus on those injured, injured veterans that are out there that the suicide rates are incredibly high. And it's amazing when you add a pet to their life that provides them companionship and service, that rate of suicide drops by almost 
Not so 90%. It's a huge number. Why don't more people know this? Well, they should. There's some great organizations out there. If you go to our website, you can see those organizations that we support. Um, they're making tons of ground, but there's always room for more. And, and we really think that that veteran program is something that if people understood how much value it provides, it's a place where we'd focus our money and we definitely are going to continue to invest there. One last question. If you were to put up all the clinics that you think you could, would you not have a multi-year growth path? Because that's a lot that you want to do. Yeah. So we've, we have a stated objective to open a thousand wellness clinics over the next five years. As a company, when we acquired VIP Pet Care last year, we acquired a company that has 36 regional offices. Right fully staffed to hire, train, and operate clinics within 10 miles of 90% of the U.S. population. Our offices need to open just a little more than five clinics a year to be over 1,000 clinics in the next five years, which is something we are more than up for the task to go accomplish. Well, that's why I think this is just a terrific growth stock and has very little economic sensitivity because we love our pets so much. Thank you to Corey Christensen, Chairman and CEO of Pet IQ. Thank you for the service dog uh, initiative that you're doing and saving so many veterans. Yeah, thank Good you so much. Stay okay. Ah, Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.